fucking with us, man. Uh, Holiday Tone says, uh, f- uh, feminine, w- feminine men, because of single mother households, there was no one to, uh, to instill to it still to instill i get what you're saying to instill how to be a man true also women don't know what they want true one and generally <laughs> can speaking I say this? can i say yeah. this really quick go ahead like as far like i just need men to want to understand that women we don't try to not be nurturing we are like a lot of us have we just have to survive but we want to be loved on not saying you have to take our but it's like if you take the time to want to get to know us, all we want is just to be. We we just want to love We're one soft. Of you guys. Yeah, and you think that that's not what you. you women say one thing, oh. but they want another thing. You don't. You don't. He's really can trying I, to make me something that I'm not. I don't like that. No, no, oh. not you. I'm speaking oh. in general. Oh, okay. You well, may I? you may actually you 34. You may be to the point where you're looking for other traits in a man. That's okay. totally fine. Okay. But in generally speaking, <laughs> you saying that you know, women, we just want to be loved on and da da da. Yeah, but you you want to be loved on, but a man still has to meet a certain metric for you to even want to be loved, <laughs> you know, want to be loved by him. I can and only that, speak for myself. And, and, that, and, and that could be true, but that metric, so you 6'1", right? Yeah. Okay, look, she's tall over here, right? Would you date a short guy? Yes. You Okay, you'll date a short guy. You want to be when you was When you was 22, would you date in short guys? Yeah. Okay, you was dating short guys. Okay. But don't say it like I was dating. Like I was. I was how, how, to how, be short? how short? How short? Five six. Five six. Oh, five, we went to five seven. six. Okay, <laughs> all right. Well, she <laughs> she just wants to be loved. She hey, at, well, at, at the end of the day. <laughs> Her nature is the one a dude that's taller, but she is going besides the nature. But that could be another thing we could speak about too. Oh um, anyways, what do you uh, think about women that have been abused or bullied as a kid that want to just be loved and accepted, and so we accept whatever yeah. love we think we deserve, and therefore we're attracting these men that take advantage of a kind heart when all we want to do is support you to achieve your goals and in process reciprocate the love we give you. That's yeah. all. I, like that's literally the message I want him to. No, put no, that's out. what you just said. Yeah, and the because I'm that woman. No, no. I'm the woman that's 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 literally. I have, and I realize this now through therapy that I literally wanted to fix men and heal men, but that's not my job, and I get that. Yeah, but but this is what I'm saying. Y'all looking at it from a y- y'all looking. You are assuming the attraction and everything here's i'm starting from the beginning you already talking about here you saying like i just want to feel loved and be loved and meet a man that's going to love me that's here men start all the way over here <laughs> right so you have a certain type of man maybe he got to meet a height preference maybe he got to meet an income preference maybe he has to meet a charisma preference you know what i'm saying he has to be charming maybe he has to be masculine like he you said you don't like, like let me finish real quick. Like you said, you don't like beta boys. Maybe he has to, you know, be assertive, dominant, That's masculine I'm type tired of man. of the betas. Got you. But <laughs> this is what I'm saying. He has to meet all of these metrics, mm-hmm. right? And all of these metrics that a man meets, women just think that women tend to, like, wait at the finish line and, like, smash the winners. No, men go through a race to become the man that they are. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm six foot four. I'm doing well in life. Life is good. I wasn't like this when I was 22. Mm-hmm. You would have met me when I was 22. You'd be like, this dude's like a 140 pounds. He's scrawny. He has no beard. He's broke. Who is this guy? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I would have dated you. I yeah, did. Nah, nah, I, 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 ha- I, I did I, date a guy like you. I mean, yeah. I mean, I was still pulling them back then. I'm not saying that I wasn't pulling them, but it's just. I'm talking just about broke as broke, well. I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, you may have dated them. This is what I'm saying. You may go for those guys. This is what I'm saying. Women tend to say one thing, but they choose another thing. So even though you say you want a man that's just going to love on you and stuff like that, guess what? I know some broke dudes that's going to love on y'all, be faithful, never cheat, cheat on y'all, but they got no uh, assertiveness. They got no masculinity. They in their mom's basement eating Cheetos, really not doing nothing, but they're going to love you. So you start in here, <laughs> right? You start here like, oh, they're going to love you. But you don't really just want love. You saying that you just want that? No, you want all of these qualities. So now this is the thing. You want all of these qualities in a man. Now when that man actually becomes a valuable man, he don't got time to be up your butt loving you how that loser would be. That's he got true. work to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is he going to be doing loving you at the, you know, at the crib all day watching Netflix and freaking girl shows? You don't want to do that mess. So it's like, y'all say one thing, but well, it don't really work out. No, you're right. Because as a, as a young girl, that was my mentality. I just yeah. want someone to love me. But then you start taking care of all the bills. You start doing all the, 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 you're, you're carrying, you, 
you start straying away from your natural innate, which is to be feminine and in that energy, but now you become masculine because now you're doing all this stuff and you re then in turn resent them. And so I've grown out of the phase where I want them to just love me. Now I'm like, okay, are you stable? Are you happy with yourself? I don't really care how much you make. I just know, are you good? Yeah. Are you financially good? Are you spiritually well? Are you, are you mentally sound? Because I'm doing the work, mm -hmm. you know, and that's what I want, but I'm a woman now. And that takes experience. Like I'm 39, I'll be 40 in September. So I don't got time anymore to, yeah. to, to, to try to build a man up. You gotta, you gotta go ahead and get that thing. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> well, you don't have no time to build a man up. <laughs> right. Since you don't got no time to build a man up, that means you gotta take a man that's already built. Right. And a man that's already built, what I'm saying is, that gotta be for Clarence 39. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! They gotta be for Clarence. Well, explain that. You explain look super that. young though. I'm gonna give I you do. that. I do. I take you, good care of myself. You look like you're in your 20s. Thank you. So that's a good thing. I tried cutting my I cut my hair to make to look more mature. Yeah, yeah. Because when it's long. Chat in person, she act, I don't know how she look on camera, but in person. Let she me look, see. How do I look on camera? She she looks super. I would say actually on camera you probably look a little bit older, oh, yeah. but in person she actually looks a little bit young. But anyways. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is what I'm saying. Uh, Mama Sita, you're 39? Mm hmm And you want that masculine man? Do you want that, that man that's already built? I want a husband. Okay. When you meet that man, you you know what I mean? You got it, huh? So The pompon is yours, papi. Take it. <laughs> Take it, papi. It's yours, it's yours. I do anything you want, papi. You want me to cook and clean? I cook and clean rice oh, and beans. I do it all, papi. I was doing that already for you somebody didn't pay rent. Yes, I was doing okay, breakfast, so lunch, and dinner. Okay, so you capable of doing it. Oh, I'm very, I'm multifaceted. Hey, chat, slide in the DMs, me? man. I'm multifaceted. She's... Are you kidding me? Look, slide in the DMs, man. Uh, breakfast, okay. lunch, and dinner. Never repeat the same breakfast the next day. Never repeat the oh, same. It was always different. I was I forgot creative. one thing. Now. I'm a chef. I got a cold. I forgot. A hard, this here's the cold hard truth. Mm. I got to give it what to happened? you. Here's the cold hard truth. I don't tell um, me. So don't tear up. Oh, God. are you oh. gonna? I already know where it's going. Don't tear up. I'm scared. So this is the thing, right? 39, you look young. You got no kids, right? No kids. Okay, cool. And They're frozen. My eggs are frozen. Okay, you got them frozen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you actually froze the eggs. Okay, yeah. so you took the initiative. All right, you took initiative to go out there and do the, do some steps. Okay. Not not predicting that I'd be single. I was in a relationship. Yeah, while yeah. Doing you this. were just doing it because you're looking forward to the future because you don't really know how things could go. With this guy. Right. Got you. Got you. Okay. So you look young. Good. So that means that you you got the you got the the beauty part. The youth. Most guys, youth, youth is the reason why we like youth is like, it's like, it's just some about, it goes with birth, but you froze the eggs. Okay, cool. You got the eggs frozen. All right. It's, some men be like, ah, I don't really know about that. But can you still get pregnant? Yes. Okay. Okay. Last cool, I cool. checked in December. Got you. Got My you. Still going to be high risk pregnancy though. <laughs> yes. Because men are tactical creatures. <laughs> we are strategic in the things that we do when we look for men, especially the high value dudes, because they got this way. They earned money by being this way, like me. I'm very Can I surprise you with one information that you probably don't know as a sure. man? Where do you put your cell phone mostly? My what? Your cell phone. In, in your front pocket? Uh, or in your lower, whatever. It's in your pocket, right? Sometimes, or in my jacket which is, or something. Which is close to your groin. So a oh, lot yeah, I know so, about so that. Of, so, a lot of, so a lot of infertility issues are now coming not, from, it's coming from men and from their men. low count and their sperm mobility sperm mobility so yeah. i learned this from a few male doctors that were doing my egg fr uh, freezing journey and they yeah, told yeah, me I heard they were they were that, like yeah. honey you can get pregnant and mm -hmm. honestly you could be 75 years old and carry a baby you know also it's um, from the, the plastics right. and, and all the drinks right. and stuff. what but, is it called but phthalates they, but what they is it? said mm -hmm. yeah something like that i think yeah. it's called phthalates or something like that anyways let me yeah. get back to where so i was going that. so so that's that's the current issue now that we're dealing with with cell phones apps computers on our yeah. laptops sorry guys <laughs> <laughs> so look let me get back freeze to where your, i was going hold sperm. on to your seat because it's gonna get a little rocky hold on oh, okay. hold on like this right you ready okay. all right cool so you like i said you go okay look young got it you froze the eggs okay cool you know men okay got it it's like ah the other thing is only fans i knew you were gonna say that so only fans is one of the things where it's like okay what you don't i don't think you're gonna tell us what you're doing well, if you want to promote it, you can. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> what you doing on there? Who you doing it with? Stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. You are selling your sexuality to a top tier of men, the type of men that you want. Now, I'm not saying it's different types of top tier men. 
right? You got men that make money, but they're simpish in the mind. Mm -hmm. And those men, you could run laps around and they don't truly know their value. So you're not really going to respect them long term. Yeah, I don't want that. You may, they may attract you by pulling up in a nice whip. They may attract you by, you know, maybe saying the right thing at the right moment. Or you just may smell the money on them. Oh. <laughs> long term ain't going to work because they beta in the mind. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. So uh, you got those type of males. They don't understand any value. But the men that actually understand their value and understand women, right, um, and they're good with women, these men look for certain types of characteristic traits in a woman. They look for a virtuous woman, mm -hmm. right? And the OnlyFans would disqualify you from a huge majority of those men. Mm -hmm. Now, it's not, I'm saying you'll still attract them. You'll attract them. Here's the thing that's, that's what's going to, how life is going to play. I don't know the future, but, and, but I'm giving you a game right now. Kind of take it, right? Mm -hmm. So it can go really two ways. You're going to meet men of high status, which I'm sure you've already been meeting. No, I haven't. You haven't no. been attracted to them? Okay, well. I, I don't go out. I go to church. You know, I read I, the Bible. I pray to God. Listen, I have a conversation with God every day. He knows why I'm doing it. But you still throw the OnlyFans up there like, oh, God, well, my booty. Well, well, can I explain that <laughs> oh, no, real quick, ahead, briefly? Ahead, ahead. So I came from a time where magazines were a glorified thing. and a thing. It wasn't. True, it was yeah, No, Maximum, FHM, Black Men Magazine. Okay. Like It didn't yeah, have true, to be true. nude. I don't do nudity. I don't do anything. Oh, I, so, okay. so basically what I do is the same stuff I did when it was printed. I was on the cover of Maximum Español. You know, I was on the cover on Oya magazine that Eva Longoria was on. Sofia yeah. Vergada, Salma Hayek. I was on billboards with, you know, I was the face of Nelly's Apple Bottle. Okay. So I came from a time where magazines. So you was really a top model. I was, yeah. Until I became a victim of domestic violence and I lost it all. But the thing is, the type of content that I curate there is the same. It's, it's just the same. as opposed to Maximum paying me 5k for a photo shoot that they were probably making bank on you all these girls in a magazine. Yeah. Got so it. you don't see why do you, why do you scroll through my, my my Instagram and you don't see me in a bikini? You don't see okay. my ass. It's okay. Pull up the Instagram. <laughs> Pull up the Instagram. You know, oh, you know no. like, 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 you don't see me working out, you know, like, yeah. like provocatively. Like, you don't see, like, but I do have a digital, to me, I made it into a business. Steve, help him out. It's on, a, um, it's on, a, <laughs> it's on the page going to DMs. It's, it'll be the second DM. Oh, uh, the chat just gonna see it. I don't think, I think I seen your, yeah, I seen your Instagram. And I'm also was, a recording artist. So as an artist, you know, we dress up and like, look, look at the Jennifer Lopez, look at the Beyonce's, look at the Shakira's, look at the, you know, look at Tina turner always yeah. wearing short short you're a performer you're an entertainer yes sadly sex sells but at the end of the day i could be wearing this and somebody could be undressing me right now with their eyes and i have no control well, of that's that. what normally happens you know what i'm guys. saying yeah you so guys yes. don't need much so yeah we so, know that so i have my real estate license just got that it's hard it's the same thing as an entrepreneurship yeah we are all entrepreneurs here in some respect so look here's let me just finish my statement right y'all pulling that up all right why are they pulling it up i keep talking okay. so uh but and i think you've already you seem like you you realized that already yeah like okay and i'm sure you probably like thought about like okay cool i'm gonna make only fans i want this type of man but i know this right here would disqualify me from some type of men what i'm saying is it's going to be hard for you to discern mm -hmm. so discernment is good judgment right mm -hmm. so it's going to be harder for you to make good judgment in men based off of the only fans because guess what men they want the cookie so th their job is to lie and do the you know put on the their best face just like women mm -hmm. too but they want to get the cookie so they may sell a dream right you may get a dream so like damn this guy's prince charming he's the vibes we go out on dates he's taking me trips we're doing things he's smashing but then year go by two years ago by but you never get elevated to commitment you never get elevated to wifey level you never get elevated to all of these things and then you could be wondering why five years talking to the dude like okay he never truly committed to me uh why well the only fans like men when it comes to purity in a woman it's like it's equivalent purity to a man like when a man looks at a woman purity is equivalent to how a woman looks at a man's masculinity just like how you said like you don't like where's the world going with these beta boys mm -hmm. like you can't get over it it's like that equivalent right purity masculine because women want security and masculine men give security mm -hmm. all right you, you got her uh instagram up or oh, you went through oh chat oh, okay okay chat Chat saying, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I didn't. Okay, because it didn't pop up on here. Okay, no worries. We ain't even get that done yet. Yeah. Um, 
Good talk. You took it like a champ, but you're mature, so I'm sure you heard all of this before. No, I thought about it myself. I mean, this is yeah. something I don't see myself doing, but maybe for another two years. But I take care of my mother, my father, family. Yeah, you're chilling. So. I'm, I'm, I can't say I'm banking the way some girls do, and I don't I don't judge people. Do what you got to do. Yeah. You know? I'm doing it enough to be able to support my dreams, my future business endeavors that I have. Yeah. Um, and I don't I don't want to be doing it, but it was my therapist that told me during the pandemic, hey, why don't but, you create an OF? Listen, man, <laughs> that's why y'all shouldn't go to therapy. Actually, listen to this. Don't go to therapy. Click the link in my uh, in the description. I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. Get your therapy through me. I do couples coaching, relationship coaching. I do marketing and media. Just has only been a year, man, and we hit over 100 followers on all platforms, so we lit right now. Um, other than that, let me get to these super